So yes, I grew up in the before times, before video games, internet, and cell phones. And me and my friends on my block in Brooklyn played outside. <laughs> We were outside all day, weather permitting, weather and our parents permitting. And we played games like tag, red light, green light, one, two, three, mother, may I. And the games that I enjoyed the most were the ones when I would get to run. As a girl, I loved the feeling of running. It felt almost like flying to me. Unfortunately, my love of running waned as I entered puberty. You see, my girlfriends and I decided that, well, running means you have to be hot and sweaty, and we weren't into being hot and sweaty. We were into being cute and cool. The other thing that we were into or focused on was snacking. So after school, we would have uh, snack attacks. I can remember in junior high school, my friend Diane and I, we, <laughs> there was one evening, one afternoon, that we decided, okay, this is what we're doing. We're going to do Raymond noodles first. We'll start with that. And then we'll make the tacos. And we ate tacos. It was all about, you know, the contrasting uh, textures and flavors. And that was our thing. So you can imagine with eating like that and my uh, adverse uh, uh, reaction to exercise at that point, the inevitable happened. I gained weight uh, quite a bit. And by the end of ninth grade, I was tipping the scales at 200 pounds. Now, I carried that weight with me into adulthood. So in my 20s, I started going to the gym sporadically. And when I would go, I would see people that were as fit as I hoped to one day be. But the people that really caught my attention were the runners. I would look at them in awe. They'd be running for like 30, 40 minutes, drenched in sweat, and it appeared effortless. And I thought, wow, yeah. I'd like to do that someday. But it was not that point yet. Um, my attendance at the gym was spotty to, to at the best, and I jumped off of the fitness wagon fairly frequently. Now, in my late 30s, I got a job where they had a gym on the premises. And I thought, OK, well, this is great. Um, and the first day that I went there, they were offering a new class called Millworks. Now, this class was to teach non-runners like myself how to run. It was taught by this woman, Anna Deanna, a fabulous fitness instructor, a dear friend to this day. And uh, she gradually, gradually got us running. When it got warm, she got us outside. And step by step, by little, little by little, I got comfortable running. Uh, so comfortable, in fact, that when she suggested that I sign up for a 5K, I went ahead and did it. She trained me, stayed with me the day of the race. I completed it, felt really good about it. And around that time, I decided to marry my renewed running ability uh, with eating healthy. And within 18 months, I lost approximately 80 pounds and was at a a healthy weight. Thank you. <laughs> and then Anna, seeing this, decided to trick me into doing a half marathon. She says, oh, no, you can walk it. You can walk the whole thing, and it, it'll take three hours. Can you walk around the mall for three hours? And I said, yes. She's like, well, you can do a half marathon. <laughs> And so I did. I did complete the, the half marathon in the three hours. Um, and then I went on to run uh, for others. And at that point in my life, at the age of 40, I managed to re-embrace something that I loved so much as a child, something that I had come to believe was completely out of my reach. And I also realized that I do indeed like it hot, that is hot and sweaty. 
Thank you.